Hey guys and welcome to the introduction to animation in Blender. In this video we're going to go over how to insert and delete keyframes as well as how to turn on the automatic keyframe setting. Now it's very simple, all you have to do is move your object to a certain place and if that's your starting position that you want it to be at, go ahead and hit I for insert and you have all these different options here. The default option is lock rot scale which gives you the location, rotation and scale data for that keyframe. So let's go ahead and just hit that real quick. And you'll notice here that it has a yellow line. I'm just going to move the cursor over a little bit. That yellow line there represents the keyframe that you just set. So now that we have that, and we know that it's there, let's go to, I don't know, frame 20 or so. And we'll move it uh, over here or something like that. And we'll, you know, we'll make it bigger and we'll rotate it. And then I'm going to hit I again. And this will give us another lock rot scale keyframe here. And once we have that, we can just go back and see our animation. As you can see, we have a very very smooth interpolation between these two keyframes and Blender takes care of all that for us. So what if we want to edit the keyframes in some way? Well, all you got to do is go onto the same frame that the keyframe is on and just move it somewhere else. Let's say over here. Let's make it really small now, but rotate it some more. Hit I again, lock rot scale, and that'll just overwrite the keyframe for the frame that it's on. So that is exactly how that works. Easy peasy. And if you want to delete a keyframe, just make sure you're on the same frame as the keyframe you want to delete, and then hit Alt-I with the object selected. That will give you a delete keyframe option, which is exactly what we want. And now it's back to the original position for the starting keyframe. Now, let's say we want to turn on automatic keyframes. Well, all you got to do is go here where this record button is, this little red dot, and select that, turn that on. And once you do that, you can move this however you want. Again, we'll just do like a big rotate cube thing. And you'll notice here, the keyframe is already set. We didn't have to press I, we didn't have to do anything. And it's defaulted to lock rot scale, so it will automatically record that keyframe. And if we wanted to add another one in the middle, just drag it, make it really small, and there we go. And that is the automatic keyframe option. And just a quick tip, if you guys ever need to keyframe an influence slider or a property value of some sort, you can also keyframe that simply by hovering your mouse over that bar and hitting the I key. That will turn it yellow, signifying a keyframe has been created. And if you have automatic keyframe turned on, you can scroll to a different frame or something like that and drag it down. It'll turn yellow again. If you don't have automatic keyframe turned on, you of course have to go to a different frame, drag it, and then hit I manually. But that's as simple as it gets. You can keyframe these values as well. So that's your basic keyframe overview in Blender. 